Salutare dragilor! Astăzi o citim pe Alice în țara minunilor în limba engleză. Deci, sunteți gata să o primim pe Alice în casele noastre? Să învățăm engleza cu ea? Haideți! Chapter 1 Down the rabbit hole Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister, doing nothing. Once or twice she had pipped into the book that her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And it was strange. What was the use of a book without pictures or conversations, thought Alice. So she was considering in her own mind whether making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble. When suddenly, a white rabbit with pink eyes ran past by her. Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late, said the rabbit. It occurred to her, to Alice, that she ought to have wondered at this. But at the time, it all seemed quite natural. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of his waist pocket, and looked at it, it flashed across Alice's mind that she had never before seen a rabbit with a waistcoat pocket, let alone with a watch in it. So burning with curiosity, Alice ran across the field after the rabbit, and she was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole. Down went Alice after the rabbit, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way, and then deep suddenly, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself before she found herself falling down. Either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly, but she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her and to wonder what was going to happen next. Well, thought Alice to herself, after such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling down the stairs. How brave they will all think of me at home. Down, down, down she went. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles have fallen by this time, she said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. Let me see. That would be 4,000 miles down, I think. I wonder if I should fall right through the earth. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Dina will miss me very much tonight, I should think. Dina was the cat. Dina, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air, I'm afraid. But you might catch a bat, and that's very like a mouse, you know. But do cat eat bats? I wonder. She felt that she was dozing off and had just begun to dream that she was walking hand in hand with Dina and was saying to her very earnestly, Now, Dina. Tell me the truth. Did you ever eat a bat? When suddenly, thump, thump, down she came upon a heap of dry leaves and the fall was over. Alice was not a bit hurt. She found herself in a long low hole which was lit up by a row of lamps hanging from the roof. There were doors all around the hall, but they were all locked. She walked sadly down the middle, wondering how she was ever to go out again. Suddenly she came upon a little three-legged table. There was nothing on it but a tiny golden key. But Alice, either the locks were too large or the key was too small, but at any rate, it wouldn't open any of them. However, on the second time around, 
she came upon a low curtain she had not noticed before. And behind it, it was a little door about 15 inches high. She tried the little golden key and to her great delight, it fitted. Alice opened the door and found that it led into a small passage, not much larger than a rat hole. She knelt down and looked along the passage into the loveliest garden you've ever saw. But she could not even get her head into the doorway. And even if my head would go through, thought poor Alice, it would be a very little use without my shoulders. Oh, wow, I wish I could shut up like a telescope. I think I could if I only knew how to begin. So she went back to the table. This time she found a little bottle on it with the words drink me beautifully printed on it. It was all very well to say drink me, but the wise little Alice was not going to do that. No, I'll look first, she said, and see whether it's marked poison or not. However, the bottle was not marked poison, so Alice ventured to taste it. And finding it rather nice, she very soon finished it off. What a curious feeling, said Alice. I must be shutting up like a telescope. And so it was indeed. She was not only 10 inches high, and her face brightened up at the thought that she was now the right size for going through the little door into that lovely garden. She decided on going into the garden at once. But Alice for poor Alice, when she got to the door, she found she had forgotten the little golden key. And when she went back to the table for it, she found she could not possibly reach it. The poor little thing sat down and cried. Come, there is no use in crying like that, said Alice to herself rather sharply. I advise you leave off this minute. Soon her eyes fell on a little glass box that was lying under the table. She opened it and found in a very small cake on which the words eat me were beautifully written. Well, I'll eat it, said Alice. And if it makes me grow larger, I can reach the key. And if it makes me grow smaller, I can creep under the door. So either way, I'll get into the garden and I don't care what happens. She ate a little bit and said anxiously to herself, which way, which way? Am I growing bigger? Am I growing smaller? And she was quite surprised to find that she remained the same size. Alice had got so much into the way of expecting nothing but surprises that it seemed quite dull and stupid for life to go on in this common way. So she set herself up to work and very soon she finished the cake.